Did you hear the audio? I don't know if you guys heard this. Did you hear the audio Andrew was working on earlier? Did you hear the guy that's all pissed off because he claims that Olive Garden would not stop trying to upsell him on alcohol while he was eating? And he told them to knock it off. I don't drink. I'm also on work break. I'm not going to drink during my work break. Have you heard the audio of this? No. All right. Andrew was putting it in earlier, so I thought maybe one of you guys had heard this. And this is crazy. Guy says he is never, ever going back to Olive Garden. He says he doesn't drink, and the server would not take a hint. The server would not stop trying to push alcohol. And I know that a lot of restaurants... They have the servers try to sell the alcohol because alcohol is typically the highest profit margin in the house. They make the most money. Restaurants, bars make the most money on alcohol. It's the highest markup. You know, a bottle of wine typically is marked up three times. Uh, a, a, a pour is, uh, you know, marked up considerably. It just, that's a known fact that alcohol has the highest margins, and a lot of the profit comes from alcohol sales. Yeah, a lot of these restaurants you walk in, first thing they do is they go down to drink specials. I want you to listen to this guy. So this guy went on a video rant. I'm leaving the Olive Garden, left the guy a $2 tip, and here's why. An Olive Garden needs to get their their together. If I tell the waiter who is trying to push alcoholic drinks on me that one I don't drink and two the employee that's with me we're still working you don't keep trying to push them I am never coming back to Olive Garden again because that's the kind of BS that they want to push no that's not right y'all need to train your waiters better Jeez, what's this Karen's problem <laughs> well because I guess he told them multiple times that I don't drink we're working, we're on lunch break, we're, and the server just kept trying to push alcohol sales on him. How, how many times? Come on, dude, just have a nip. One beer. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, could it have been that annoying? Right? I mean, he comes by with the bottle. He goes, I don't drink. He comes by with, like, a different bottle. What hey, about this one? Do we have any <laughs> any servers, any managers, anyone in the food and beverage business? Can you give us some insight? Can you call us up? Fire up the phones. I would love to hear from servers or from anyone in the restaurant business. Do you work for a chain? Do you work for a one-off? I mean, you don't have to mention where you work, but can you give us some insight into alcohol sales and kind of the meetings before the shift begins? Uh, can you answer phones in there, Andrew? I don't know if your phone is on ring because the uh, phones are ringing. All right, 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. Can you give us some insight? And I was just fascinated with this guy. He shoots a video. He's like, I'm at Olive Garden. I told him we're not drinking. The guy keeps trying to push out the whole meal, apparently, trying to push alcohol on him. If you are in the business, restaurant business, whether you manage, whether you own, whether you're a server, give us some of the, the inside information on some of the meetings, on how they try to tell you how to push alcohol, how to upsell, how to move somebody from maybe a uh, uh, a well liquor up to a top shelf liquor. How to spot someone who looks like they'll drink a bottle of wine. <laughs> it's uh, the nose. Uh, listen, if you really want to hey, know, it's the, the nose. Bulbous if nose. you have a big red red bright nose, <laughs> that person's a lush. So if you got like Bill, Bill Clinton rosacea or something <laughs> yes. going on? Yes. <laughs> I mean... That's, if your nose looks like Harvey Weinstein's genitalia, pretty okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. All right, let's let's go to phones. 800-990-1047. Hey, give us some insight here. We love to learn. So if you would like to tell stories of alcohol upselling or trying to push alcohol, trying to ram up the tab at the restaurant because alcohol is the highest profit item in the house in a restaurant, I uh, give us some inside information or things I'm not even thinking of. Educate us on this deal. But clearly, this guy who's all pissed off at Al uh, at Olive Garden, uh, the server. I don't know whether it was a bonus. I don't know whether it was some kind of promotion. Whoever you know moves uh, X number of bottles yeah. of this particular wine. And that's another thing. Sometimes there's contests yeah, exactly. or something amongst the servers. See, that's what I want to know. All right, educate us. Tell us stories. 
Fill us in. Give us the deets. All right, 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. Will is in Orlando. Oh, look at this. Will says he's a food and beverage director. Hey, Will, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. Welcome. Hey, uh, the markup is like 300% on alcohol. Yep. Um, we actually get huge promos from vendors when they come in. They'll give us uh, merchandise if we push their stuff. A lot of the time, the... So like Tito's Vodka or something. So there, there might be a big Tito's promotion, right? Yeah, Tito's will send it. Some of the garbage product will be the stuff that we push. Some of the, the some of the garbage product is what you push because it's so cheap and the markup is ginormous. Yeah, traditionally, uh, the better marketing that they have, the more garbage product is. Like, if you look at your uh, tequilas, <laughs> if you look at your like anything that's like a fancy bottle, it's normally lower quality. So stuff no one's ever heard of is the uh, better stuff. Traditionally, the uglier the label, the better the product. The, like the, a glass the, of the, Sailor the, Jerry, <laughs> ma'am? <laughs> Sailor Jerry. What what type of liquor is that, Froggy? I think it's a whiskey, isn't it, sir? It's Sailor rum. Jerry? Oh, it's a rum, yeah. Hold on, rum. did you make that up, or is no, that real? No, you never heard of Sailor no, Jerry? Sailor Jerry is rare. No, there's a real Sailor Jerry yes, rum? Yeah, Sailor Jerry yeah, rum. It's a, yeah, it's good stuff. Great stuff. The, the label's terrible. <laughs> so is that why Fireball has all of these uh, tchotchkes and marketing things? Fireball. All right. Yeah, traditionally, <laughs> the algorithm the label. All right, but hey, thanks, Will. Appreciate it. You've never had Sailor uh, Jerry's? Oh, we I tore mean, up not, Sailor Jerry's I'm back I'm not the biggest the rum guys, guy either, but... I'm W&W. W. You guys know I'm wine Whiskey and, and women. <laughs> I'm whiskey and wine. I, I drink red wine and whiskeys. Yeah. And, of course, uh, whiskeys would include bourbons and rye and whiskey or scotch. Those Give the are sailor all- a shot. Tell me what you think. It's a rum, though. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a rum Feel drinker. Feeling a piratey mood. Uh, hang on. Let's I'm go a, back to phones here. I'm a WT girl myself. Uh, wine and. Wine and. Tequila? Te- yes. See, I, oh, I, I don't like tequila at all. Okay. No hangover. And yeah. I saw that there's like an impending tequila shortage. Did you see that? Oof. Yeah, hang on. I'll, I'll try to dig Terrifying. that up. Let me go back to phones here, though. But if you're in the restaurant biz, if you're a server at a restaurant, or if you've ever been a server, give us some of the inside information on how they instruct you to push the alcohol, like this dude at Olive Garden. Uh, Ashton is in Waimama. Hey, Ashton, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, how are we doing today? Doing well. All right. So what's the story? So the story is I, I work in downtown Tampa, and uh, I have a, a, a bar and uh, a tequila bar and restaurant. And, you know, people come there about 46% to 50% of my sales come out of my bar. Yep. Um, but then again, you know, people come there to drink. That's what they come there for. Um, so, I, I mean, but, of course, we're not going to push it. You know, I, I say push a couple cocktails, you know, feel out your table. If they want it, they want it. You know, it's not, that's understandable. Um, but I've also worked for corporate chains too, where it was the same deal. Push a couple and, and, and if they don't want it, they don't want it, you know, but it was. All right, so do they tell you when to back off? Do they tell you when to stop pushing? Yeah. I mean, you should push a couple. If literally somebody tells you, Hey, I don't want it. You, they, you don't get it. You know, the whole idea is to make the customer happy. Right. Um, you know, it, and if they're going to continually push it, that's on the server. I mean, could be on, on possibly the managers too, you know, like, like, uh, Will was saying, you know, if they're, they're trying to push that garbage product it's because they got a promotion going on. Yeah. Um, and, and, and they, you know, yeah, a lot of times, uh, and I, listen, I'm just going to throw out some numbers, but a, a lot of times with some of the, the lower end product, there'll be some kind of promo. You buy five cases, you get five cases free, you know? Right. Right, absolutely. and then so they. What happens is the margin, the markup is even greater if you sell that product. Absolutely, absolutely, and and that's that's what it comes down to. You know, is it we're trying to make money. Everybody right now, you know, with the cost of inflation and uh, you know uh, minimum wage is going up. You know, we're paying our servers more. We're paying everybody else more um, because you know by by twenty twenty five, you know, minimum wage is going to be fifteen dollars an hour. Now, I like the fact that when you say that if somebody doesn't want it, you just leave them alone. You don't push it. Yeah. 
And that's the yeah. thing about this Olive Leave Garden. I mean, there's no point. You're just trying to make them happy. That's the whole point of it, you know? If you can't push booze, push dessert. You know, they're going to want some dessert or appetizers. You know? Find their sweet spot. That's what they're coming there for. There you go. Thank yeah. you, buddy. Thanks, Ashton. But, MJ, this guy in the little app, uh, Olive Garden video, he doesn't give any more details as to how many times the guy yeah. came uh, to the table. If the guy came to the table twice, is this guy getting all butthurt uh, over that? If you're just tuning in and you didn't hear the Olive Garden video, this is a customer at Olive Garden, shot a video, it's circulating on social media, here it is. I'm leaving the Olive Garden, left the guy a $2 tip, and here's why, an Olive Garden needs to get their, their <laughs> together. If I tell the waiter who is trying to push alcoholic drinks on me that one I don't drink and two the employee that's with me we're still working you don't keep trying to push them I am never coming back to Olive Garden again because that's the kind of BS that they want to push oh. no that's not right y'all need to train your waiters better what has he never seen anyone drink and work at the same time people do drink I, when they're working I, here are some more details the Olive Garden he says where he went was different he said when the server came Stephen says that he and his colleague ordered Dr. Peppers. He says that they were looking at appetizers. The server interjected saying, hey, you want to get some alcohol started? And Stephen says, <laughs> no, 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 no. And he alleges that the server keeps pushing the alcohol multiple times. I need a number. <laughs> right? I mean, to quantify all it. I have is the server allegedly continued to insist that they order alcohol. It was multiple times. Order a beer, I, dude. Then Steven says, I finally had to put my hand on the table and said, look, no, we don't want anything. Just, we said no. Can we just get our Dr. Peppers? Perfect Dr. Peppers and endless breadsticks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, God, this guy seems real sensitive. You know, honestly, if I'm Olive Garden, good riddance. Yeah. He says, as soon as you say no, that should be the end of it. I shouldn't have to give an explanation about why I'm not drinking, and neither should the guy that's with me. God, this guy just got to have a sexual harassment training at work. <laughs> as soon as they say no, it's no. This guy sounds like the recovering alcoholic that <laughs> See, right? is like really yeah. hard and then on the drinkers. Com the comments were, Olive Garden waiter is required to push items. Managers give them a hard time. If they don't hear them ask, what are they monitoring the servers? Hey, you only asked that table seven times oh. if they wanted alcohol. You know, the minimum is 10. All right. This is BS. Uh, let me grab one more call before we move on. Danny is in Winter Haven. Danny, MJ Morning Show, you're on. Welcome. What's up, buddy? Good morning. Um, yeah, I, uh, I was a server at Longhorn for 10 years. Just left it, which is actually under the Darden brand, so it's a sister restaurant to Olive Garden. Yep. Um, the cor the corporate structure for the servers is very much, you know, our spiel is dictated by the managers. They do watch, as you just said. If they if you don't hit the points, you are you know reprimanded for it, and they will watch you again to make sure you're hitting all the points. Now there is a difference between the points that we have to hit and a server really trying to push something, but. Sometimes the points that we have to hit are too much. Um, All right, like, give me an example. What? Give me an example of what you think was too much on some of the points that you had to hit at the restaurant you worked at. Uh, we should be offering alcohol and upselling different drinks about three times for a shift. And um, I would normally try to slide by with two because three times is too much. But also you have to read your customer. And if they're not interested, then it is your job as the server and the management's job to let you uh, back off from it. Um, but I have a major problem with this care and Kyle or whatever you want to call him. Cause it's not the, in my mind, he probably hit it about three times and that's not the service fault. That's what he was told to do. And for you to leave $2, you're a piece of work, bro. Like collect yourself and like, you know, do, do better. Like $2 for a dip for a server that's doing his job, what he has to do while the manager's probably watching. That's unacceptable. He needs to go somewhere. Gotcha. Now Darden brands, if I'm not mistaken, are Olive Garden, Longhorn Steakhouse, Capital Grill uh, yeah, on yeah. on the on the yeah, high Cheddar's, end. Yard, yeah, Yard House Cheddar's, uh, Seasons Fifty Two. Yep. Uh, we and we used to have Red Lobster, but they sold that. Gosh, oh, you, they sold the yeah. Cheddar Bay biscuits. Yeah. All right. All right, Danny, don't fall for Danny, don't fall for MJ's snarkiness here. He's never had a Cheddar Bay biscuit. I never have. Right. I, I just know about him. I I was on I was on a Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office ride along years ago. I was with uh, uh, Steve Lewis, and and we were pulling through the parking. It was some kind of issue, and we were in a parking lot, and it was a Red Lobster parking lot. 
and there was a line out the door for lunch. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? He said, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, bro. <laughs> that's, yeah. what, that's what he this said. This is good. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do some bad things for them biscuits. No buddy. kidding. Uh, uh, yeah, here's MJ kind of smugly <laughs> mocking you, Danny, without you even knowing it, because uh, he's never even had hey, one. Danny, thanks for calling in, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Uh, How, like, strict is it? Like, do they take you to a breadstick beating room if you don't sell <laughs> yeah. enough? I mean, what is Olive Garden? What's their manager's problem? <laughs> uh, so, so, listen, Steven's ticked off. I'm watching you. you smash your head in a big pot of pasta fajoule. Steven's like, <laughs> stop it with the alcohol pushing. I'm leaving the Olive Garden. Left the guy a $2 tip, and here's why. An Olive Garden needs to get their, their <laughs> together. If I tell the waiter who is trying to push alcoholic drinks on me that one i don't drink and two the employee that's with me we're still working you don't keep trying to push them nope the manager's listening you got to push it th- at least three times are they working at the olive garden is that what he's saying they have papers on the table yeah what, that's exactly what, what he's saying loser. maybe it's a computer it's work time go to your office